Hello there and welcome. If you've wondered about the actual like for like image quality differences and generation times of the most popular Flux models then this video is for you. In this video I've selected the 8 most popular Flux models, 4 Schnell models and 4 Dev models, generated a whole bunch of the same images using each of them so we can compare the results of Schnell vs Schnell, Dev vs Dev and then compare a selection of Schnell and Dev images against each other. I've generated all of these images using Forge UI with a Windows PC running an NVIDIA RTX 3070 8GB VRAM GPU, 16GB of RAM and an SSD. This means that all the model generations use my GPU, RAM and SSD virtual memory. So if you've got higher or lower spec hardware you can adjust the generation times up or down accordingly. This video is a follow up to my previous Flux video on how to choose the best Flux model for your own specific needs and hardware. So if you haven't watched that video yet then I highly recommend it. It's got some great tips and insights in it. I'll leave the link to that video in the description below for you. So let's crack on. The Schnell and Dev models that I tested for comparison are the FP8, GUF Q8, NF4 and the GUF Q4. For all the models I used the standard VAE, CLIP and T5 FP8 text encoders. I'll leave the links for all of these in the description below for you. For the Schnell models I used 4 sampling steps and for the Dev models I used 20 sampling steps. It could be argued that it's not a fair comparison between Schnell and Dev using different sampling steps but I wanted to keep them at their recommended lower end defaults. Schnell would therefore benefit from faster total generation times and Dev from perhaps better image quality. Also increasing Schnell steps to Dev levels would produce worse image quality results and lowering Dev steps too far would generate incomplete images. So 4 and 20 it is. We'll start off comparing the Schnell model images to one another, then the Dev model images to one another, then wrap up with a quick comparison of some Schnell and Dev images together. For the first two detailed comparisons I'll be awarding scores out of 5 for overall image quality, overall image prompt adherence and also image text adherence. Bear in mind that my scores are subjective and based on my opinion which may obviously differ from yours. It's also worth pointing out that due to limited sample size this is by no means a conclusive test. However it should certainly give you a good indicative comparison. If you're only interested in the specific comparison section of the video then I've left the timestamps for each section in the description below for you so you can just jump straight to that section you're interested in. This is the first Schnell model image comparison. You can see the model generation key details above each image and the same prompt that was used for all the images at the bottom. I used 4 sampling steps for all the Schnell images. The Q8 image took significantly longer to generate than the FP8 and a lot longer than the NF4 and Q4. The images all seem pretty similar at first glance. For our overall image quality I'll give the Q8 image the highest score of 5 out of 5. The FP8 and Q4 images are pretty much equally good so I'll give both a 4. The NF4 image is visibly the lowest in terms of quality and I'm not sure what's going on with the half ring on her finger so I'll give it a 3 out of 5. For overall prompt adherence I think they all pretty much produced exactly what I asked for so I'll give them all a 5 out of 5. Text adherence None of the images got the lower and upper case letters correct although the NF4 and Q4 images did get the lower case T correct on the GET so I'll give the NF4 and Q4 both a 4 and the FP8 and Q8 both a 3 out of 5. Moving on to the second image. This has a longer more detailed prompt. For image quality none of them produced equal or decent fingers. For image detail the Q8 certainly stands out just ahead of the FP8 so I'll give the Q8 a 5 and the FP8 a 4. The Q4 has slightly more detail than the NF4 so I'll give the Q4 a 3 and the NF4 a 2. 
Overall prompt adherence, again, is pretty good for all the images. So again, I'll give them all a five. For text adherence, they all got the upper and lower case lettering correct this time, but there's a bit of a difference between them. For the FP8 and Q8, I'm not sure where the line in the sign came from. Some of the letters extend off the sign and the FP8 has misspelt the word hungry. The Q4 has doubled up on the word am. The NF4 has done the best job, so I'll give it a five. I'll give a four to the Q8 and a two to both the FP8 and Q4. Moving on to image number three. This is a cartoon style image with a longer text for the sign. For image quality, there's quite a bit of funky things happening with all the hands, but apart from that, they're all pretty good. But the FP8 and NF4 seem better, so I'll give both of them a five, and both the Q8 and Q4 a four each. Overall prompt adherence, again, all good, so they all get a five. Text adherence, I think is a fail for them all, so only a two each. On to image four. They all did pretty well, except all the fingers are a bit strange and NF4 is missing one. So for overall image quality and detail, I'll give Q8 a four, FP8 a three, and a two for both the NF4 and Q4. For prompt adherence, only the NF4 got the glimmering crystals in the background, so I'll give it a five with all the others a four. Text adherence, FP8 and Q8 are spot on, so I'll give them a five. NF4 is a bit covered and the Q4 got the wrong letter case for the first letter, so I'll give them both a four. On to the fifth and final image. I'm not really impressed with any of them. They all look a bit plastic. For quality, different images have better details in different parts, so I'm gonna go with a three for all of them. For overall prompt adherence, again, they all got it, so a five for all of them. For text adherence, there's a wide range of signs and text. Only the Q4 has a misspelling, but none of them got the upper and lower cases correct. FP8 and Q8 get a four. The NF4 sign design is pathetic, so only a three, and a three for Q4 as well. Okay, that's all five images compared for each of the four Schnell models. This is a breakdown of the total image generation times and awarded image scores. The image generation times are probably what you'd expect, with FP8 and Q8 taking a lot longer than NF4 and Q4. For overall image quality, Q8 and FP8 stand out above NF4 and Q4. Prompt adherence, they're all pretty much on an excellent same level. Text adherence sees a bit of a lower than expected score for the FP8 model and a higher than expected score for NF4. This is a summary of the total image generation times and total image scores awarded. Q8 is the overall winner for images but has considerably longer generation times than any other model. FP8 is second for images, but a lot quicker for generation times than Q8. NF4 is surprisingly close to FP8 for images, with the very quickest generation times. Q4 is last for images, and also slower than NF4 for generation times. Okay, now you know how the different Schnell models stack up against each other. This is the first dev model image comparison. Again, you can see the model generation key details above each image and the same prompt that was used for all the images at the bottom. I used 20 sampling steps for all the dev images. The images all seem pretty similar at first. For overall image quality, the FP8 and Q8 images have come through with more detail. So I'll give both of them a five. The Q4 is pretty close with a four and the NF4 is just lacking compared to the others, so it only gets a three. For overall prompt adherence, they're all pretty much spot on, so a five across the board. For text adherence, there's a noticeable adherence to upper and lowercase letters compared to the Schnell models, although all the dev models added a capital L in flux instead of a lowercase L, so a four for all images. Moving on to image number two, 
with a longer, more complex prompt. Image quality. The FP8 and Q8 images seem to have more detail. The fingers and toes have slight issues in all the images. NF4 and Q4 have no eyes. NF4 is noticeably behind the other three. I'll give a 4 to FP8 and Q8, a 3 to Q4, and only a 2 to NF4. Prompt adherence, again spot on for all, so again a 5 for all images. Text adherence, all upper and lower case correct, and all words correct for all images, so a score of 5 for all images. Moving on to image number 3. This is with a longer sign text. For image quality, they're all slightly different cartoon styles, which is fine. There's no obvious issues with any of them, and all are detailed in different areas of the character, so a score of 5 for all images. For prompt adherence, again, all spot on, so again, a 5 for all. For text adherence, none are spot on, but the FP8, Q8 and Q4 come pretty close, with the NF4 trailing behind. So a 3 for the NF4 and a 4 for the rest. Moving on to image number 4. For image quality, all the images struggled with the fingers in one way or another. The overall quality of the other details with FP8 and Q8 is equally as good, so a score of 4 for both of them. NF4 and Q4 are visibly lower in quality detail, so a 3 for each of them. For prompt adherence, I can't see any crystals in the background, but apart from this, all images adhere to the prompt very well, so a 4 for all of them. For text adherence, none of them got the upper and lower case correct, and they all have the text obscured, so only a score of 3 for all of them. Moving on to the final image number 5. Immediately, it's obvious how much higher quality and more detailed all of these images are compared to the Schnell images using the same prompt. For image quality, the FP8 and Q8 images stand out as better quality with more detail, so a 5 for both of them. Between the NF4 and Q4 images, there's a variety of better details with each, so an even score of 4 for both of them. For overall prompt adherence, again, a 5 across the board. For text adherence, none of them have the upper and lower case letters correct, but the NF4 sign comes the closest for a score of 4. Next closest is the Q4 for a score of 3, followed by a score of 2 for both the FP8 and Q8. Ok, that's all 5 images compared for each of the 4 dev models. This is a breakdown of the total image generation times and awarded image scores. The difference in image generation times between the models are pretty much in line with what we saw with the Schnell models, with FP8 and Q8 understandably taking a lot longer than NF4 and Q4. For overall image quality, Q8 and FP8 jump above NF4 and Q4. Prompt adherence, they're all pretty much on an excellent same level. Text adherence is surprisingly even between all four dev models, with NF4 and Q4 edging out slightly over FP8 and Q8. This is a summary of the total image generation times and total image scores awarded. FP8 and Q8 are tied as the overall winners for images, but Q8 especially has much longer generation times than any other model. Q4 beats NF4 for images, but is slower than NF4 for generation times. Ok, now you know how the different dev models stack up against each other. This is the first image comparing all Schnell and dev models. The image dimensions are all 1024 by 1024 and use the exact same prompts. The Schnell models used 4 steps and the dev models used 20. The spread of image generation times is also pretty similar to the previous comparison numbers. With this first image set, it's immediately obvious that the dev models produce vastly better image quality than the Schnell models. The quality of the sign text 
is also much better with the dev models. With this second image set, it's pretty much the same story as the first. The dev models produce much better quality and details than the Schnell models. This is the third image set. The prompt for this didn't actually state a cartoon style. Again, I think the dev models just outperform the Schnell models overall in terms of quality and detail. This is the fourth and final image set. You can see even more so with these images how far ahead the images are with the dev models compared to Schnell. The dev models just contain so much more appropriate detail and just look a better picture overall. OK, now you know how all Schnell and dev models compare to each other. Now you should have a better insight into how the most popular Schnell and dev models stack up against each other in terms of generation times and a variety of image quality factors. Anyway, hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.